Now in this lesson we're going to look at different types of errors in uh, programming. So there are two main different types of errors that you need to know about. First one is called syntax error. This is when you break the rules of the programming language. For example, you, you might make an, um, a mistake in the spelling, or you miss a colon, or you miss a bracket, and so on. So in the first example, we have if name is equal to hello. So we can clearly see I've typed um, the letter F twice. So this is breaking the rule of language because I'm misspelling if, which is a syntax error. Then we have if name is not equal to hello. So in this example, I've missed a colon right at the end. This is why this will give us an error. In the third example, I put double colon, so else and then double colons. It should be one colon. So this is another syntax error. So this is all called syntax errors, which is when you break the rules of the programming language. Then we have logic errors. So logic errors is when your program runs, so it runs perfectly fine. However, it doesn't give you the right result. It gives you an unexpected result. This is normally when you use an incorrect comparison operator, such as less than sign instead of greater than, or not equal to instead of equal to, and so on. Or when you use an incorrect arithmetic operator. So if um, you want to multiply two numbers together, but then you use the division sign instead of the multiplication sign. Now your program will still run, it will just divide two numbers together rather than multiply, which means it will give you an incorrect or unexpected results. And it also happens if you use the incorrect Boolean operators. For example, you might use AND instead of OR. If you do that, you will also get an, uh, a logic error because your program will still run. However, it will give you an incorrect result. Now here we have an example. It says spot the syntax and logic error. So the first syntax error is obviously the brackets right at the end. So this is missing a bracket. Then we have it says if number is less than 5, display larger than 5. Now this is incorrect because if the number is less than 5, we shouldn't be displaying larger than 5. So this less than sign should be changed to greater than sign. And same with the other one. So the greater than sign needs to be changed to less than sign because it says if number is greater than 5, display less than 5, which is incorrect. So your program will still run, but it will give you the incorrect result. And then finally, we got another syntax error, which is missing the quotation mark. Now, finally, we're going to look at modulus, which is an arithmetic operator, to find the remainder of something and to find if a number is odd or even. Now, if we look here, we can see that 10 modulus 2 will give us a remainder of 0. 6 modulus 2 will give us a remainder of 0. 100 modulus 2 will give us a remainder of 0. 8 modulus 2, remainder of 0, and so on. So if you do, um, if you have an even number and you do that even number, modulus 2, you'll always end up with 0. And then if you do any odd number, modulus 2, you'll always end up with 1. Now, so here we know that anything modulus 2 will give us 0, which is why we can find if the number is odd or even. So what I can do is I can ask the user for a number. So number equals int and then input to ask, um, so enter a number, ask for a number. And I can use if, let's say number modulus 2. So if that number modulus 2 is equal to 0, then we know that it's going to be an even number. So even number. And then otherwise, obviously it's going to be an odd number. If it's not even, then it has to be an odd number. So here I did if the number, so if whatever the user enters, modulus 2 gives you 0, so has no remainder, then we print even number because we know 100% is going to be an even number. For example, if I type, uh, let's say 20, it says even number because 20 modulus 2 will give us 0, which is which means it's an even number. So anything modulus 2 will give us an even number.